Are you dreaming of having your own sled dog team, but you're not sure if you can commit to it? Hi and welcome back. Today I really would like to bring you along one of my regular days with my sled dogs. Welcome in! As a very first in the morning, even before my own coffee, I feed my dogs. Since I'm living in a tiny house, I have a separate small building as the dog kitchen. I need a freezer for the dog meat, which is standing in there, and as well the dry food bags, they are pretty bulky in a big pile. As well, it's very handy to keep these kitchens separately, since dog meat and as well dry food can mess up the places sometimes a little bit. During summer times the dogs just get dry food. I kind of melt it down in water and feed it then when it's soaked up. But in winter time they need more energy and I add normally quite some meat as well. If it's very cold periods or some dogs get too slim, I normally add as well oil or some kind of fat. Other than feeding, the dogs also have to be groomed. There is a lot of feces to collect and as well the fur has to be brushed, in particular when they change it in twice a year, once for summertime and once for wintertime. And of course if a dog is sick, it has to be taken care of if they are injured as well. 
sometimes there is even a need to visit the veterinarian. Luckily, I'm very seldom in this position that I have to visit the doctor with them. Besides taking care of the dogs itself, there is a lot of maintenance work to do. Several times a year I got the whole pallet of dog food which has to be piled around and as well the dog meat for the winter time has to be shifted and carried back and forth. The dog yard needs maintenance, cabins has to be rebuilt and fixed and whatever small repairing things in the big yard. As well gear and equipment need repairment a lot. Pretty time consuming can be also grooming the trails. It a little bit depends how the winter is, winter is coming and going. Many times in the beginning of the season when there is just a little bit of snow in the forests, I don't need trails at all. I kind of train my dogs to just go wherever across the forests. But later on in the season or still in the early winter when we start to have the snowstorms lately one after the other the snow level gets too high that the dogs could run in it without a trail so i'm very often out with the snowmobile as well making trails for the dogs to make trails either to make new ones or to get them up after snowstorms is really a job i like <laughs> Yeah, now it's time for sort of like special treating of these different kind of dogs. We've got um, three which are not really 100% running anymore. Uh, 
Luna is right now out with me. Luna has got osteoarthritis, like me, but she can run actually quite often still. It depends a little bit on the snow conditions, the temperatures outside. And um, since I'm having her, come Luna, come here, come, hip, hip. Since uh, a while ago, she's actually just sleeping inside in the worms. And um, I think this helps pretty much. And she's in this way easy. I can just have her loose and um, yeah, she just follows me wherever I go. Very nice. Yeah. And here we've got Max on the leash. Simba running free. Max is just very newly retired. He starts to be very weak in his back part. So, um, yeah, this Maxi, this Gavi Promenera. Yeah, he's not, he really doesn't want to run anymore, neither. So, um, I let him just take walks with me as well. So, I sometimes try to take runs with Max, but yeah, you can see now he's really still pulling pretty hard. So um, I normally have really pain in all my legs when I've been for a run with him. So it's just more comfortable to take a walk. Yeah, and Simba, he's the oldest uh, gray one, which is running now loose. He really doesn't want to do any kind of activities anymore. So he's basically hanging in the big running yard. Or then, yeah, since I'm out with Max on the leash, it's easier to get even Simba sometimes a bit out of the yard. But otherwise, when he was like alone and the only retiree, I couldn't get him a meter away. Now it's time for dog training. The best part of daily life is let dogs. I move my dogs all year round. In summertime, they follow me on my runs or on the bike. In any case, as long as it is not too warm. Otherwise, they play and run around the huge running yard every day. When the evenings are getting colder in late August, I start with autumn training on the cart. From very short 6 km laps at the beginning, I carefully build up until the desired distance is reached. The actual goal for this year is power and the regular 50 to 70 km a day. Enough to join me on my work as a machine guide in Finland and a planned mountain tour in springtime. More about dog training I will explain in a separate video in the future.
The evening feeding is always a beautiful moment. The whole pack is happy, including me. The day is rounded off and everyone looks forward to getting a good night's rest. On a normal day with alternate training or short running loops, I spend around two to three hours with my eight dogs. Later in the winter season, with longer workouts, the time easily doubles. Yeah, now you have been with me a day with my huskies and that's pretty much how my regular daily life looks like out here. Right now the days are pretty short, so this can be sometimes a bit hard to be able to manage with everything during daylight. Of course it's possible to do everything in night, but I just really prefer to get some daylight. If you like this and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And for this time, thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time.